Talking about emotions in Spanish as a native English speaker can be difficult. Yes, you need to know the vocabulary, but you also need to know when and how to use it. In this video, we'll compare some popular expressions used in different parts of Latin America that can get lost or at least lose their power in a direct English translation. Me siento fatal. Me siento fatal. The translation would be I feel terrible. But it means more than that. It's like saying there's no way I could feel worse than I do right now. You could have said me siento terrible, which is technically correct, but this feeling goes beyond. I don't feel bad, I don't feel terrible, I feel even worse than that. Me siento fatal. Me siento fatal. Llevo tres días en cama sin poder hacer nada. Me encanta. Me encanta. This is such a lovely way to express that you really like something. It literally means to be enchanted by something. That's so cute. It could be a person, an object, you name it. Saying me encanta la primavera is like saying I love spring, but by holding a bouquet of flowers and popping your foot. Way more charming than a symbol, I love it. ¿Cómo se llama esa canción? Me encanta. Me encanta tu personalidad. Qué pena. Qué pena. It means what a shame. And you can use it for that. It is meant to be used as what a shame. But you know how we are. We like to have a little bit too much fun with our own language. So if you want to step up your game on Spanish expressions, use this one sarcastically. Oh, el perro se comió tu tarea. Qué pena. Cero. Oh, estás tan ocupada siendo Hannah Montana que extrañas tu vida normal y aburrida. Qué pena. Me dejó boque abierto or me dejó con la boca abierta. It's kind of like saying my jaw dropped, but a better translation would be it left me speechless or I was left with my mouth open. To express surprise when the word sorprendido is not enough, either of these two expressions help you communicate that bigger feeling. This one literally means to be left with your mouth open. El final de temporada me dejó boque abierta. Me quedé con la boca abierta cuando leí la noticia. Now these are just some tools I can provide, but it's up to you to use them and keep practicing. Just keep watching your TV shows or listening to podcasts in Spanish and pay close attention. I'm sure you're gonna find many more like this and just choose the ones that fit your personality the most. Stay Jarvo Fluent and I'll see you on the next video.